Hello there. You're watching Week in Vibe. I'm Jack Amelie. And I'm Johnny Don't Know. Has your breath ever smelled like horse hiccups? <laughs> or horse meat, perhaps. Those odds are high if you're from Ireland. Traces of horse meat have been found in the busiest supermarkets in Ireland. CEO of Food Safety and Authority of Ireland said, there was no health risk, but also no reasonable explanation for traces of horse meat to be found. Horse meat, huh? <laughs> Well, I know of thousands of females out there that's just wearing horse hair. <laughs> well, might as well send me down the line too, huh? That's just wrong. Moving on. Rapper Shorty Lowe. You know, I don't even want to call him a rapper. Shorty Lowe's Oxygen Reality Series, All My Baby's Mamas, was canceled before the first episode even aired. 30,000 plus signatures met a petition that caused the network to pull the show prematurely before the series even started. Senior Vice President at Oxygen wrote in a press release some old, well drawn out excuse on how the show is going to be entertaining and how people are going to be tweeting about it and whatnot. Long story short, he basically just said, niggas are going to be niggas and cut the check. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Do you think it's right for the petitioners that stop the show? Hell yeah. If I could sign a petition, I would. This show would single handedly drive up child support payments like new taxes. I mean, what the? were you thinking, Oxygen? And Shorty Lowe need to shoot his dick smooth off. Here's a question, Jack. What can save your life after consuming antifreeze? Sweet baby Jesus? <laughs> Close, but it's vodka. <laughs> really? So what saves you after drinking too much vodka? I don't know. I'm Johnny Don't Know. A very long, very painful morning filled with regret, water, and ibuprofen. <laughs> At least that's what I do. A puppy in Australia was about to die when it was saved by receiving a drip feed of pure alcohol through his nose, right into his stomach. <laughs> could you imagine that for hangovers? Like you wouldn't have to get out of bed and fall on your face, you could just lie there and receive a drip to... Don't get any ideas, Jack, like really. Nah, I'm way ahead of you, bro. Do they sell IVs on eBay? Just try Craigslist then. Nah, I'm trying to find a solution for hangovers, not shop for STDs. I'm good. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. In other news, Lance Armstrong confesses to using performance enhancement drugs. In a recent interview with Oprah Winfrey, this confession comes after years of bitter denials. After that, Armstrong was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles, lost most of his endorsements, and he even had to leave his own charity that he founded called Live Strong. Give the man a break, people. I mean, he did battle cancer. I mean, he does have one testicle. His balance is a little bit off. You know, he's walking crooked. Uh, nah, really, he, he kind of cheated death with the whole cancer thing. So you can't win, you know, Tour de France, cheat cancer. Like, it, you're getting greedy. You're getting greedy. Uh, uh, really. I didn't even look at it like that. Cat Williams isn't the only celeb with the IRS on him. Mr. Stevie Wonder himself now faces a tax lien for a whopping $40. $40. <laughs> it seems as though Mr. Wonder has made some mistakes on this tax return and with the $40 total in processing and fees, it comes up to about 138 bucks. Man, <laughs> $138 bill will ruin my damn life right now. I feel you. Man, I swear, I, I barely had gas to get here today. Like, I can't wait till my W-2 will come in so I can do my tax. I can. I, I went exempt about six months last year. <laughs> damn, that's, that's all bad. Uh, and that's all for today, here on Week in Vibe. Tune in next time. I'm Jack Amelie. <laughs> and I'm Johnny Don't Know. Right here on Vibe TV.